When I made the video titled Interviewing a Black Man Living in Rural Serbia, I was disappointed in my friend Josh for biting his tongue when telling his story. However, in retrospect, I should be disappointed in myself when I see how I downplayed my experience as well in the Black Sick video I made about Serbia. I haven't told a lie on my channel yet, and I won't start now. Serbia is a racist, anti-black country. I've always kept it real and told the truth as I see it and won't stop today. Many Serbians are anti-black racist. I've consistently stood on my square, backed down from no one, and I plan to keep it that way. Anti-blackness and the Serbian people go hand in hand. It doesn't matter how many Slavic mud sharks you post, how many token black athletes play for Serbsky teams, how many black friends you supposedly have or had, how many years the Turks kept the Balkans in bondage as if the summation of black life is slavery, how many generations of your family have lived in poverty as if all black people only know penury, nor how many pictures you post of your South African safari. If you're Serbian, you're more than likely an anti-black racist, if not explicitly than implicitly, if not implicitly, tacitly. If tacitly is too strong, then characteristically. I've reached this conclusion not on a whim, not as a knee-jerk reaction, but after years of contemplation and reflection while living in the Republic of Serbia and after. On my platform, I don't talk about that place often. However, one of the most popular videos on my channel is me giving my raw, heartfelt, honest experiences living in Serbia as a black man. In that initial video, I showed restraint. I didn't lambast Serbians as a whole. I didn't use hyperbolic language. I didn't go off on a tirade. I didn't even say Serbia was a terrible place and black travelers or expats should avoid it. Nonetheless, slander against my name was made. Attacks on my character and intelligence was made. I even received death threats. Well, at least no one said I was ugly. Scrolling through the plethora of Slavic usernames in the comments, all the Lukas, Bogdans, Boyans, Milicas, Mashas, and Sofias, yes, the women got involved too, who referred to me as the N-word, monkey, and other racial slurs were immediately deplatformed. But I had to ask myself, did they not hear the part where I said the vast majority of Serbs were kind and helpful in most of my interactions? Or were they so furious that I would be incensed by a taxi driver speculating about the size of my penis that they went deaf? Did they not hear the part where I said the country was boundlessly beautiful? Or were they so blinded by bigotry when I expressed the truth I was followed in every convenience store by security that they couldn't see my humanity? Did they not hear the part where I said Serbia was such a tolerable place to be that I was considering attaining citizenship? Or were they so irate by me telling my story about experiencing racism in romances with Serbian women that it flew them into a rage? Some might say that the foreigner should avoid sensitive topics out of respect for the host nation. To some degree, I do agree. I didn't and don't get into Balkan BS like who does Kosovo really belong to or gasp. Who brews the best rakia? But what about the respect for me? They say it's a two-way street and you gotta give it to get it. Unless you think a black man's presence walking the streets of Belgrade is naturally disrespectful, then how am I wrong for lashing out verbally on camera when a group of youth unprovoked yell out the N-word at me? Unless you believe black people are naturally thieves, how am I wrong for lambasting a store when I'm consistently stalked by security every time I enter? Unless you think the black man's genitalia are monstrously gargantuan, as if we should be proud of that, how am I wrong for taking offense to such claims? In the minds of the vast majority of Serbian commentators, I shouldn't take offense to any of these things. That's why I have deduced Serbia is a racist, anti-black nation. The Serbs and their supporters admit it themselves. Their displeasure with my commentary on living in Serbia as a black man can be summed up in oh so many words as shut up because your blackness deserves for you to be called slurs. And our culture condones mistreating black people and any protest against such mistreatment by the mistreated or their allies will be met with gaslighting, excuses, or outright hostile derision, possibly violence. Well, I refuse to accept that, so I'll say it again. Serbia is a racist and anti-black nation. True, the nation never had chattel slavery of black Africans, racial segregation, or South African-like apartheid. Sure, the nation, 
many centuries ago, banned slavery and said any man on Serbian soil is free. But black people of my lineage never put Jews in concentration camps. We never placed the people of the Torah in ghettos or pogroms. Does that mean Kanye, I love Hitler West, is cleared of ever being considered an anti-Semite? I always find it funny how the minds of white folks work, no matter how far apart their point of origin is. On one hand, they always want to claim the glory of their ancestral past while simultaneously distancing themselves from any atrocities perpetrated by their forefathers. When push comes to shove, they all uniformly say, I can't be blamed for what my grandfather did, while at the same time they say, I can never be what my grandfather wasn't. It's astounding the paradox doesn't cause their top to pop, but that still doesn't stop their illogic from spewing, such as when they call me a racist. This isn't even worth dignifying with a response, but when did I see a group of white men walking down the street and yell slurs at them, much less pointed, stared, or laughed? When did I make excuses for anti-white discrimination or bigotry against an entire people? When have I not said that the ideological fight against white supremacy is for the liberation of all people so everyone, regardless of color, can live freely, happily, and non-hierarchically amongst each other? As a leftist, it is inherently against my principles to be for one group of people over another. We don't seek to replace white supremacy with black supremacy. We seek to have a system of justice reigning supreme. The reason I speak about black issues the most is because it is the experience I'm closest to and my time in Serbia taught me that anti-blackness is rampant and rife and must be challenged wherever it appears because white supremacy destroys both oppressed and oppressor. Bakari Henderson was a black American man murdered in Greece by a lynch mob coalition of Balkaners from Serbia and Bosnia. People who historically have had beef put their issues aside to unify around anti-blackness. I could have had my first child with a Balkaner had her family not told her to abort the black illegitimate mongrel. That's a life that never saw light because a black planet is a fright. I could tell my Ghanaian friend Josh was fighting back tears when talking about the racist comments he hears daily working in Novi Sad. Yet when I interviewed him for my channel, he smiled and lied through his teeth that he had no issues in Serbia. That's because, unfortunately, we live under the system of white supremacy, and that means whites must approve of your words if you wish to live unmolested. Josh may not have that luxury, but I do. Serbia is a racist nation. Many Serbs are anti-black. Racism is as Serbian as Chivapi. Signing out for our people, Simon Hill.